tech is moving faster than we can keep up. There's so many 3D printers flooding into the market. Back in 2023, the Elegoo Saturn III was considered one of the best resin printers available. But can it still hold its ground against strong competitors like the Saturn IV, Mars V and any cubic Mono V? For those unfamiliar, meet the Elegoo Saturn III. The $280 machine that lets you print your way into the future one tiny detail at a time. It has a build volume of 9 by 5 by 9 inches and it packs a resolution of 60 million pixels, which sounds a lot, because it is a lot. Printing with a resolution of 24 microns definitely is something you can boast about with this machine. To put it in perspective, I printed this super tiny cap to fix a stylus touchpad pen. It fits like a glove. And for more perspective, I've been cranking out some seriously cool prints, like Groot, because you gotta have a Groot. Venom. Warhammer figurines to help you conquer the galaxy. A Squid Game Officer. Goku. Ice King from Fortnite. And a General on a Horse. Just look at the insane details. You could definitely print to impress with the Elegoo Saturn III. It also has a cool frontal design and looks like a transformer. If you want to find more information and current prices, links can be found in the description below. Now that we're done with the basics, let's answer the main question. How does this machine compare to the newer models? Is it still worth your money? Of course, any printer can produce great results if the settings are dialed in perfectly. But do you really want to spend your time tweaking things like a mad scientist? Probably not. So we are aiming for simplicity, affordability, quality and not needing a PhD in 3D printing. Number 1. Simplicity. The Elegoo has two knobs to level the bed. You loosen them up, drop the bed, tighten it back and boom, easy. Is it designed to never need any adjustments? Compared to newer generation leveling, this bed still needs adjustments every once in a while, so I'll give it average. Getting the build plate in and out is a breeze. Above average. With a good aluminum vat and easy to use handles, you won't fumble about spilling resin everywhere. That's above average. Next feature is an advanced one. PFA films instead of the standard FEP. What's that mean for you? Fewer print fails and less user error. It's like having a backup plan for your backup plan. But don't get too excited because newer films out there are pushing print speeds even faster. So while it's above average, it's not top tier. Next, we can look at efficiency slash quality. Can it clean the vat? Check. Does it have a good interface? Check. What about print speed? As an MSLA printer, exposure times are around 2.5 to 3.5 seconds, which is in 2023-24 average. When it comes to toxicity of resin, not many companies try to reduce it or manage it. But the Saturn III has an internal filtering system as well as the option of installing an external system too. Above average. Build plate size? Slightly above average. Print resolution is unseen at this price range. It has a super cool build plate texture, which is great for adhesion. Above average. And the cherry on top is overall consistency. Once I got the settings right, it was smooth sailing from there. You might be thinking, but hold on a second, there's nothing below average? 
My friends, this would not be a tech review if there were no cons. First con to start with is no height adjustability. The printers got legs, but they aren't adjustable, so if your surface isn't perfectly level, good luck, you might be dealing with some adhesion issues. That's below average right there. And then there's the enclosure box. You know, those fancy new printers with the smooth rotating covers that remind you of a Lambo? Yeah, the Saturn 3 didn't get that memo. Instead, you've got to lift the whole cover off, find somewhere to put it, and then deal with it all over again, especially when your hands are covered in resin. Average. Although the machine is very consistent, first you need to dial in the settings, placement and leveling all to a high degree, which does take time. Below average for ease of use. And let's not forget, no Wi-Fi, you've got to go old school and use a USB stick. That's, you guessed it, average. Despite its flaws, at $280 this machine ticks all the essential boxes and throws in a couple extra too to sweeten the deal. Is it worth it? Absolutely it is. So to summarize, for quality the Saturn 3 punches way above its pay grade. It's an excellent choice for beginners, hobbyists and people who don't have 3 bank accounts. But for convenience and extra speed, you probably could get your hands on a higher end machine. Just be careful, a lot of these machines are currently a little bit overpriced at the moment, so you won't get the best bang for your buck. Once again, if you're interested in the printer and want the best prices, links can be found in the description below. For more comparison videos and quality checks, make sure to subscribe so that you never end up buying the wrong product and regret it later. That's it from my side, have a nice day and happy printing!